subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Good morning everybody. Day one of the Shaw Classic starting today. We had the rules meeting and just a get together last night. Um, looks pretty cool where we're going to be competing up at Brian's gym. So that's awesome. We've got a, a little bag from Brian. I see a lot of, it's a decent sized one. Just to see what we've got in here. We've actually got quite a few cool things. We've got a soft belt. So we've got a few t-shirts. Shaw Classic and then that's us in the back. Du, 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 du. Boom! Copy of the rules, I guess. A grip shirt, which is pretty awesome. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying that today. I saw Brian using these, I'll also open them up. Um, they're not for sale as of yet. Grip shorts, I think, are going to be pretty cool. So they're neoprene shorts, basically. But you can see like, they've got a grip rubber kind of grip in there, they feel really nice. I'll try them on and see how they go. We've been asked to wear like, either of these or a black pair of shorts, so I think I'll probably opt for these. Boost oxygen, obviously with the higher altitude, so I'll be sacking on that a little bit later. So we're not allowed to use the figure of eight straps, so we've got these deadlift straps from Brian, so thank you very much again for them. Um, really cool, you know, the, the length that he's gone to to kind of make sure we're all looked after and yeah just just really good actually i'm really kind of chuffed chuffed to bits and i went for a bit of shopping in walmart yesterday i got myself a little shirt oh look at that oh and it's all fluffy inside as well oh like a soft rug oh so it's actually snowing outside wait i'll show you outside so check that that's uh that wasn't snowing yesterday so, yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, so what time are we on now? It's like 7.23 in the morning. Excuse the messy room. So I'm just going to cook up some of this stuff. So before we came out, Brian asked us what, you know, we wanted for food-wise and stuff from Trifecta. He gave us a list, so we've got all this. So I'm going to cook this up, have some breakfast, eat some food. I think we're leaving at half nine, so I've got two hours. Pack my stuff, we're going to a different hotel after the initial competition today um, and then just take it from there so we'll let you know how it goes and remember to check out shawstrength.com and sign up to that because that's where it's all going to be streamed from so thank you very much so this is the trifecta food so rice some bison burgers Brian even thought of everything as far as you know condiments so you got some barbecue sauce I actually feel like if anyone remembers Ronnie Coleman, he used to put barbecue sauce on everything. That's what I'm doing this for, so try to generate some Ronnie power. Yeah, buddy. I've got my Gatorade, my water. Obviously, Nordic Botanics Muscle Rub. Um, that always gets on before my competitions. Just looking forward to getting stuck in. Like I say, uh, Max Log first. Um, see how that goes. And you get some snacks before we head out, so. Nathan's given me a list of some bits and pieces to get. I just want to put one on Scotland now. That's what we should aim to do, um, Tom and I, and you know, put a, a competition on in Scotland on this size and the scale. So offer up twenty thousand pound prize, kitty, get some big names across. Um, definitely, man. I think you know when you see someone do it like Brian. So Brian's really successful in what he does, but um, it pushes us and inspires me certainly to want to do stuff like this because I think it'd be so cool to showcase um, like a Highland Games-esque or Highland Games slash Strongman crossover up in Invergordon. If we could do that I think it'd be huge for the town and give something back to people you know have kids races, give them some prizes, um, an amateur competition. I just think we need to kind of push the sport a little bit and it's up to us as athletes to do that rather than just rely on the kind of the organizers i mean obviously like they do a massive job and i love competing for them but we all need to keep pushing the sport together and getting it i don't know i just hope it becomes a imagine you know if strongman became in like the, the school kind of curriculum or whatever it is you know in your pe or gym classes you're doing strongman stuff that'd be so cool but i think we're a wee bit away from that but yeah i think it's our responsibility to 
to push it on and see what we can do. But anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to eat my food. So we'll see you in a little bit. Day one, waking up to the snow. We've got the trailer. Cornelius, how are you, sir? You good? Uh, yep, I'm good. You're doing a great job getting us everywhere. Can I borrow your camera? I have to show them something. Oh. <laughs> I'm freezing to death and he is in shorts. <laughs> yeah, it's you not so cold. Snow. I'm kind of sweating Watch a little bit actually, it's quite hot. <laughs> <laughs> We're driving to the mountains where the hills have eyes. And Trey Mitchell will visit all the guys. <laughs> how, how was today for you, mate? Oh, well, I think it went pretty well for me, you know, being a last minute alternate. Yeah. yeah. I did well on the log press yeah. and, uh, you know, the yoke, you know, I wasn't expecting the best for it. I didn't, training it was slow, but you know, yeah. I didn't drop it, that's good. How was your day today, mate? Oh, not bad. Disappointed a bit about uh, my log. I'd have given that, I'll be honest. I'll yeah, be that, was yeah tight. that was tight. Yeah. Oh, it was very but slow to I think I have maybe to hold one more second, but I feel something pinch in my back and I drop it a bit. That's it. Yeah. Anyway. Then, uh, but uh, I was surprised about you. You did really well, you yeah. And tomorrow will be much better. Tomorrow, one, one, one. Yeah, but you know it's very close. Eh? Yeah, so it will be a big battle. Nothing is win already. Yeah, for sure. It's very close between uh, our guys. Deadlift coming. Uh, dumbbell stones, you know. And you've never done the hammer tire deadlift before, have you? Never, never. No. But deadlift, it's somehow, deadlift, deadlift. If you have power, you know that. Yeah, and that's it. If we put in a competition in Scotland, can we get you across? Yes, for sure. I've never been in Scotland. Really? Never. We oh, never no. make a contest there. Oh, we'll weird. make one. The um, spicy Stolten classic. Yeah, but normally, you know, I never refuse an invitation. Good. Yeah. I cannot, <laughs> and I have to, to make this competition fast, huh, because uh, I'm old now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Kanye will be finished soon. Yeah. <laughs> Are you excited for the deadlift tomorrow? Very, yeah. It's something about this pull on for a long, long time. Like, uh, I didn't know JF hadn't pulled on it before, actually. Mm. But obviously, he was putting the Arnold, and then we haven't really done any like, yeah, Arnold stuff. True. So, yeah, looking forward to that. Like, yeah, it'll be interesting. Yeah, man. A lot of good deadlifters. Yeah, like Terry's yeah. looking good in the deadlift as well, mate. Not after today, mate. Fucking hell. Spine. Barely even fucking pick that frame up. Yeah, it was. That yoke fucking crippled, mate. Yeah, it was. It was really fucking crippled, mate. mate. It was tough that yoke one, Jesus, it was yeah. in Estes Park it's called. Nice and snowy. Gonna try and go for a little jacuzzi. It's nice and snowy. And I'm walking on some flip-flops. What's behind this door? Looks a bit steamy. Oh my god. You naked? No. Oh damn. This is nice. Wow, it's steamy. Holy shit. It's a nice big jacuzzi they've got. Yeah, so we're just in there. Mr. Bishop, Mr. Mitchell, and Mr. Garon. We all had a nice little dip. Body's feeling a little bit better today. Just having some new, uh, some some more food. Got a pizza on the way. Obviously, can't really say too much about um, results and stuff, but yeah, I was relatively happy with my performance. I think today it was a heavy, excuse me, a heavy competition so far. Heavy events today really heavy um which was good it was nice to see how you know you put yourself up against these guys and um some incredible performances i think it'll be oh, it was awesome yeah i don't know just just really cool to be there all the guys getting behind everyone the support that everyone's showing is awesome so just so happy to see we can do a competition like this and or brian can put it on and we can come out and we can support everyone and so i think that's what strength sports or strongman certainly is all about it's about supporting and um you know cheating on our friends and the guys we're competing against so yeah we're up in estes park i think it's called anyway it's just like way up at um a high altitude just now so it is quite hard to it's, it's a struggle to breathe actually it's not a struggle to breathe but it's you can feel it with the altitude so we've got hammer tire deadlift dumbbell for reps and stones so yeah, three events should be a good day. Um, feeling all okay. I hope you have a nice time in the Whispering Lodge, Tommy boy. Um, thank you for watching, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the messages. Wishing me luck, etc., etc. It means a lot to me. It really does. I know I say it a lot, but it really, truly does. So thank you so much. 
Stay safe, smile, stay spicy. And keep ringing that little bell. Bing, 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 bing. Bing, 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 bing.